you need to start automating as much in your MSP business as possible. This is going to allow you to grow faster and also remove a lot of the headaches that have caused a lot less hair to be on my head. My name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. We help MSPs grow, whether that is sales training, marketing, or even business operations. Before I get into today's video, as always, I do have to mention that there are some super helpful links in the video description. I've started to change them up more and more, but there are the most helpful videos that I think exist, as well as links to the most valuable thing out there, which is growth-generators.com forward slash resource. Courses. And hey, if you're driving, just remember growth-generators.com. If you scroll over to the resources area, you'll see the resources. And then in there, under additional tools, you'll see all of the resources that we absolutely love, including our freebies, whether that's sales sheets and acronym cheat sheet, especially if you're new to the industry, because we absolutely love acronyms, all the way down to sales sheets and a mega marketing cheat sheet, and honestly, so much more, including pricing in there, by the way. So I would highly recommend going and checking out growth-generators.com forward slash resources. And if you want to come hang out with us in the Discord forward slash Discord. So let's talk about automating your MSP business because truth be told, you have to automate. It is truly the most important thing out there. And the more you can automate, especially those super boring and repetitive tasks, the Honestly, the more you're going to be able to do, it really turns into that. And every super successful business honestly does the exact same thing over and over and over again, right? They either develop a new product, they roll out the product, they learn from it, and they just do that process. But we want to make sure that we're automating it instead of manually doing it over and over and over again. And there's a lot of ways that you can automate in your MSP from gaining leads all the way into nurturing them till they're customers. And even as you begin to work with them over time, there's a lot of opportunities to automate in the business. And the more you think about it, the more of those repetitive tasks that come up, the more you can automate that. And that could be something as simple as, hey, we closed the ticket, boom, instead of writing that email, it's going to get sent out to that client. So it's really, really important to fully understand that. And more importantly, let's talk about the different ways and the different triggers that automate your MSP, because it's really important to know what the causation is to have the reaction. And the more that we can eliminate ourselves from that cycle and begin to replace that with technology, the easier our lives actually get. Now, the first one is going to be an event based trigger, right? An event happens, right? Action, boom, reaction. So this could be a customer putting in a ticket, boom, we immediately get notified that, hey, something is going on in the system. And it allows us to not have to either, hey, let me read that email. It'll automatically capture it in our RMM and PSA tool, letting us work effectively without having to go open Outlook and put in new tickets and copy and paste. And that's a miserable process. Next is going to be a time-based automation, right? I'm sure most of us do this Monday through Friday for the most part, unless you're a crazy person, you work six or seven days a week. But for me, alarm goes off at 8, 8.30 in the morning. It's usually earlier than that because of my dogs, but hey, they're in the, they're in the time-based trigger as well, right? Sun comes up. Dogs wake up, dogs want to go outside, and that is my daily routine. Now, I wish I could automate that, but you can't. But a time-based trigger is something that's going to happen at a set time, either multiple times a day, every day, or however that time frame that you decide to actually make happen. And those are really the kind of two that are possible, right? You have to have something happen or something's just going to be created to run over and over and over again. And this all this automation brings me actually to today's sponsor, which is going to allow you to automate quite a bit more. And that's SuperOps. SuperOps is a tremendously helpful platform. And if you've been following for a long time, I have talked about them at nauseum at this point. And I've just pulled up their website. For those of you that don't know, it's superops.com, S-U-P-E-R-O-P-S.com. But they have a really cool RMM and PSA platform. I have mentioned them hundreds of times in the past. 
without ever being an affiliate, without ever being sponsored by them. I truly believe that they have one of the best RMM and PSA tools on the market for MSPs. And I've learned more and more about them, right? They tie everything together. And you might see some, you know, maybe some other links or apps in here from Zoom to PaxA to Cronus, right? All in one platform, right? We have a mobile app, IT documentation, asset management, network monitoring. And this is all tied together into a beautiful bundle with your RMM and PSA where we have super ops living at the core. And by the way, for the market person on super ops this is like the best ever way to capture and tell people like hey what's going on and how you work i have seen so many different things this is truly total side note breaking the third wall this is one of the best out there and it even has like these little pop outs and it brings you to the area creme de la creme but moving on right once you get in and i'm in a demo account so that way i can have information to work with the cool part about this is SuperOps has a ton of different automation plat or features, I should say, available for you from first event triggers, you know, these scan tickets for specific conditions and perform actions like setting priorities and assigning the right technician, which is huge. Once again, who wants to do these things, right? Time triggers, ex executing rules and actions based on a certain time or time conditions, run books, and these help you execute operation procedures on recurring issues, making your processes smoother. But the coolest part about all of this, right? We have the homepage and we have the My Workspace and their platform is super, super fast. Is their AI powered intelligence alerts you and helps you avoid mistakes and eat away at your time. It uses the information, it learns patterns and gives you feedback so you can proactively fix issues even before they begin. But this is their platform and I truly love it. It's one of the cleanest interfaces and I said it in my other sponsorship video, but truly I love my Chrome tabs and this is just the best. I could go to my workspace, it loads lightning quick. I don't know who did it because it is the fastest loading tool I've, I've seen in a very long time. You can see all your con clients, con co clients, contacts, right? What's going on? Who's speaking to who? What is it actually saying, right? Where is it going? Your dashboards based on what's actually uh, going on in the business. And you can punch out to all of your clients or you can dial into one of your clients, seeing your counts, how many are open, how many are closed, resolved, all of the things that you want from this. But building out these automations in here, as you begin to use and leverage this tool to really go through it, you have this beautiful pop out, right, of all the work management, tickets, tasks, projects, timesheets, scheduling, awesome, right, network monitoring scripts, so much more is involved in this. So Super Ops, thank you for sponsoring today's video. Honestly, it's a really, really cool platform, one that I have been talking about for forever, and I'm glad you guys got to uh, finally sponsor because, hey, uh, it's a really cool platform. Just keep being um, amazing. But let's keep talking about the automations because we, as MSPs, don't feel like dealing with as much as possible, right? We want to automate as much as possible, including one of those things called scripts, as we just saw in Super Ops. We want to be able to just, hey, boom, I get to run that script from one platform. It makes life a million times easier when it comes to building your business. And you can automate even more, right? The event and that time-based are the two core but what else could we automate? We could automate billing. We could automate time tracking. We could automate, you got to be careful with this one, but payroll to a large degree because we can see how much time technicians are putting in on tickets, how much time tickets or, or, or how much time employees are putting on tickets for certain companies, right? And it allows us as the business owners to make better data-driven decisions to say, hey, maybe we need to look at this, right? This is how we begin to grow. This is how we could say, hey, you know what? We're doing the right thing as an MSP business because we're automating. I will tell you and I will say it till I am blue in the face, you should automate as much of marketing as possible. There's gonna be some parts of marketing that you're constantly doing, just like there's gonna be some parts of your operations as your MSP grows and continues to work on a day-to-day -day basis that you're gonna have to do. But the more we can remove the day-to-day -day super boring 
mundane tickets like cleaning a computer. Oh my goodness, setting up a computer, deploying software on a computer. Nobody wants to do that. Imagine having to go to whatever your preferred downloader is, downloading all of it, you know, one by one by one, or even using a tool like Ninite and grabbing a ton of information. Imagine you could just run it and it'll automatically be deployed there. That is the automation that I'm talking about. And the more you could start to see, I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again, the easier your life is going to be. That's why niching down is super important. You can niche down, figure out what works, figure out how to automate their business. You are going to look like a rock star, but also automate automating or making your life easier, scripting, rollouts for firewalls, for switches, all of that. You have to begin to automate. And anytime you do something three, four, five times, try to go on Google, say, hey, how do I automate doing this? I promise you there is probably a tool out there to make your life easier. So check it out. I encourage all MSPs, one, to check out Super Ops, two, to like the video, subscribe, notify, all the good stuff. But three, on, honestly, look at all the things that you do on a daily basis. The more you can remove yourself from that process, the more success you're going to have. You're going to keep your costs lower and your profits higher, which is the dream of every business. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate you as always. Love you guys. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.